Hey y'all, it is Giacomo. Mind not the air conditioner noise. About 94 degrees and loads and loads of humidity here in South Carolina. Shalom to you. So, before I get started, uh, XM Radio has a special Michael Jackson tribute channel on the air right now. It's channel 50 if you are interested in listening to it and you have XM Satellite Radio. So I was listening to Jailhouse Rock by, you know, the King, Elvis Presley, the original King. And I caught the lyrics in the, the middle of the song and Elvis is singing about um, sad sex sitting over there acting like a square. Uh, if you can't find a partner, use a wooden chair. A and I said to myself, uh, Jailhouse Rock, you're in jail or prison. There are no women in this particular prison, if you've seen the, the music video. So, hey, you know, what? if uh, that's your, your persuasion, I'm not here to judge anybody, but if you want to do the shower cha-cha with other men, and that's usually a punishment, actually, but I digress. Enough of that before I get my video taken down here for hate speech. Hey, uh, for the record, another rabbi trail here. I have a gay cousin. And another cousin on my dad's side of the family is uh, transgender. You know, I don't agree with it. You know, at the same time, we are required to love people even though we don't agree with them. Now, enough of that rabbi trail. Speaking of rabbi trail, this evening at sundown is Rosh Chodesh Av, which is the beginning of the month of Av for us Hebrew types. And, um, my synagogue down in Colombia, leaving my house in prosperity right now, I go to Colombia, is having a celebration, blowing a shofar and singing and worshiping. It's going to be a fantastic time. In fact, this is officially a guy in front of me is on his cell phone and waving all over the road. You back up a little bit. I don't want to get hit by some Neanderthal who can't stop texting and driving. I digress once again. Um, this is my very first Rosh Chodesh celebration after the uh, 10 years or so of me uh, walking with Israel. Um, probably should have done this a lot earlier, but you know, none of the congregations that I belong to, whether in Dallas when I lived there, or the second one that I belonged to in Dallas as well, or even in LA, but when I first converted, um, did a Rosh Chodesh celebration. So. So it's kind of special for me. I kind of like it. You know, my brand new Talit and all can be a lot of fun. What isn't so much fun, right now it's about four in the afternoon. And as I just said, our celebrations at sundown. Now, sundown, it's summertime here, is going to be roughly 8.20 p.m. What does that mean, boys and girls? It means I'm having to leave really early. Okay, does that mean anything to you? Maybe not, but here's the thing. I've lost a lot of weight, inches, if you will, around my waistline, and around my big fat black tuchus, and a lot of the clothing that I've um, had over the years doesn't fit any longer, or it's gone completely out of, uh, out of comfort for me. So I'm going to go down to the mall in Columbia and, and buy a couple pairs of shorts. Now, why is that a big deal? Because the mall is still involved in this <sighs> COVID shutdown, limited hours, uh, slow the spread, blah, blah, blah. So none of the stores in the mall proper open until 11 o'clock in the morning. Now, Columbia is roughly a half an hour, maybe almost 45 minutes from where I live in Prosperity. So there wasn't any point for me to drive all the way to Columbia where my synagogue is located and then way back up home to Prosperity and then go way back down there again to go and worship at, at, at 7 p.m. So the mall, as I was kind of saying earlier, the mall closes at four. So you've got a really small window to do any kind of, sh I'm sorry, not four. The mall closes at six. So me being Jewish and all, I, I thought about this, let's make a legitimate trip here. I may as well go down there early 
and unfortunately have to hang out and do nothing for about two hours until we're ready to go and worship. It's kind of ridiculous, but it all kind of boils down to is this. We need to get back to things, boys and girls. We need to get back to regular hours and normal commerce. Even, um, you know, I went to the uh, Walmart in Columbia yesterday or the day before, and I nearly got kicked out of the place because I can't wear a mask. Now, for the record, I do still suffer from a little bit of anxiety and a lot of claustrophobia. So I don't know what is going to happen if I've got something on my face for a couple of minutes or even eight hours as I was, you know, if I were driving for Uber or for Lyft, and it's gonna start next month again when I get back up and running. So, and once again, we need to just open up America. This is getting retarded, really. How much longer can we live like this with limited everything and can't sit down at a restaurant, can't, uh, or do you feel like a normal person? The other day I went to Taco Bell and the girl served me my, uh, my, my, my tacos, vegan tacos, of course, in a plastic tray, kind of stuck it out the window. I'm like, this is ridiculous. Just had a conversation with a, you know, middle-aged Southern woman down here in South Carolina, of course, and she was like, if you're gonna get it, you're gonna get it. We live in a free country. There is no real possibility that I'm gonna give it to somebody unless I'm all up in your in your grill like that. So what's the point of everybody really wearing a mask unless it's a sign that you are going along with things and not thinking, not looking to see if it's a legitimate thing to do, or putting yourself in possible peril while wearing it. You know, you want to wear it, that's fine. If you're kind of scared, if you have a, a medical condition that might actually be exacerbated by COVID-19, you know, by all means, but we've got to get back to normal here, boys and girls, I'm serious. Anyway, let's try this here. My Hebrew is kind of lacking here. Chag Sameach. Chag. Chag. Rosh Chodesh Av. All right. Anyway, I am Giacomo, that's my opinion. Love you much. Shalom. See you soon.